surprised that uh, Kamaru said that Kobe said he was putting on an ad. He seemed very surprised by that. What? Why? What was your thoughts? That's it, bro. So, no, it, if you're gonna, if you're gonna put up an ad, I think so. You should, you should, you gotta stay with the ad. You know what I mean? You can't just like when you retire, you come on and be like, you know, like WWE guys. You know what I mean? They, they, they do their stuff and they, they keep that act no matter where they're at. You know, and then when they retire, then they talk about like, oh look, it was an act and this and that. So, kind of surprised that you kind of just. Came out of nowhere and said it. That's got me shook. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly how I felt. You know, uh, like if you're putting on an ad, then you gotta you gotta sell that. That's your shit. You gotta sell that. You know, but that just lets me know his weakness is already. He's already finding. Like, come on, let's let's dissect this thing. You're already finding a way out. People hate, don't hate. Once I get beat up on Saturday, don't hate me because I was just putting on an ad. You know, because they were gonna cut me. You know, he's already he, he, he's doing that. And did you guys realize when I fought Tyron Woodley here in this same exact in the building, I had my open workout. He showed up at somebody's open workout. If you want to be the champ, you gonna show up at the champ's open workout and try to distract them, right? Why you show up at mine? Because he knew what's gonna happen. He knew I was the most dangerous guy in the world in the division, and he knew that I was a fight he didn't want. So he already been showing his car for a long time. So back to that question, whoever asked why I'm so relaxed, I'm relaxed. I know what I'm gonna do. 